Hey folks, welcome back to Combo Class. I'm your teacher, Demotro, and since we're almost at the end of grade negative one here, today I want to present my weird version of a final exam of sorts. But bear with me, even if you hate tests, I kind of do too. And half a year ago, if you'd asked me if I expected to make some sort of test for this grade, I would have guessed no. But after I thought about it a little more, I realized, despite all of the problems with tests, maybe I should make one. So let me run you through some of my thoughts about tests in general. I personally think that tests are overrated in the education system nowadays. A lot of classes make you take some tests and maybe a final exam that has some huge impact on some grade you're given that might affect your future. But these tests often are testing more of memorization than some true intelligence or capability in some fields. And even outside the schooling system, our society has a lot of tests that some people think prove a lot more than they actually do. For example, IQ tests award you an IQ score that some people think directly measures how intelligent you are. But here's a few sample questions from an IQ test, and they're basically all like this. And as you can see, what they're really testing is your intelligence in a very specific type of visual pattern recognition. And some people think you can take a test to figure out what type of personality you have, like the Myers-Briggs type indicator, even though it's been scientifically shown that these have huge statistical inaccuracies. But although tests are super overrated in our world, especially in the schooling system, there are some good things they can do. For example, if you take a test in some subject that you do want to get good at someday, at its best, a test could gauge what parts of that subject you really did understand, force you to comb back through the whole arc of whatever class you took, and see if you really understood all the terms and how to use all the tools. And after after you get a test back, you could use it as sort of a gauge of what things you thought you understood, but really you could learn further. And at its best, while you're taking a test, it might force you to do a little problem solving, a little thinking outside the box, which is also necessary to being good at a certain field. So when I thought more about some of the good potentials of tests, I did end up deciding to make one, which in this video I will be showing on screen the different components of, the mathematical questions, and then later sections that are a little more surreal or different. And for the first mathematical section, just to clarify a few things about how this test works, uh, you're not going to get a score on it from me, but you could count each question as one point, or the ones with multiple parts as each adding up to one point per numbered question if you want to grade yourself. But really, this isn't about getting a grade. It's just about trying your way through whatever parts of it you want to, to make your brain have to do a little bit of problem solving, maybe a little basic arithmetic, and maybe a little remembering of some mathematical truths that I've shown in these earlier episodes. And if you need, you can always look stuff up or use a calculator or just look at the answers that I'll be revealing on my Demotro channel in one week. But don't rush to do any of that stuff. Take your time with this to see what parts of it you could crack with just your brain. And even if the mathematical section of this test is too numbery for your brain to want to handle, still stick around because the later sections of this test are a bit more subjective and probably different than anything you've ever seen on a test before. And with that said, let's jump into some number questions. If you had a 12 hour clock, oh, oh this clock has maybe met its end. Uh, if you had a 12 hour clock and you had the hour hand starting at the 12 and you went forward 11 hours 123 times, what number would it end up on? 
If you rolled two 20-sided dice and looked at the difference between the two numbers rolled, and you repeated that a million times, what would be the most frequently hit number as a difference? Some dice come in shapes that are convex regular polyhedra known as platonic solids. Now, if you took one of each of the possible platonic solids that exist in the third dimension and counted the amount of vertices on each and added up those numbers, what result would you get? How many two-digit numbers, and yeah, assume I'm talking base 10 unless I specify, would be neither threeven nor even? What is the natural density of numbers that are threeven but not even? If you wrote down the largest prime number known to humanity in binary, how many zeros would it have in it? If you wrote the following numbers in base 12 and without anything after a decimal, how many zeros would they each end in? 6 to the 10th power, 15 factorial, and a number that's divisible by 12 cubed, but not divisible by 12 to the 4th power. How would you write the number negative five in the following bases without using a minus sign? Base negative 10, base negative two, and base two i. If we counted in base six, how many minimal pan-digital numbers would there be? If we wrote our numbers in base nine, what would be all of the possible last digits that square numbers could have? All right, back to base 10. What's a nine digit number that when you raise it to the fourth power, you get a palindromic number? Now let's say a number has five prime factors, two of which are the same as each other, and the other three of which are different or distinct. How many total positive factors does that number have? What's a number where if you add five halves to it, you get the same result as if you multiply it by five halves? What is three tetrated to two minus two tetrated to three? What's the only multi-set of 24 positive integers where if you added them all up, you'd get the same result as if you multiplied them all together? What's the smallest number with the prime signature 2111? What are all of the possible values that a prime number larger than three could be congruent to in mod 18? On the complex plane, how many of the eighth roots of unity are on the real number line? Here are a few numbers on screen. Figure out for each of these numbers at least one of its positive factors that isn't one or itself. Now here are some types of number. Give at least one example of each of these types of number. Now for a question with many possible answers, name at least five open questions or unproven conjectures in mathematics. And that brings us to some more subjective questions where I don't want you to try and guess some correct answer that I'm expecting on the rest of these. I want you to spend a little more time writing out some words or say it out loud if you hate writing about your feelings about some parts of our reality. So answer each of these following questions with a few sentences, whatever you think constitutes at least one solid paragraph. And the first thing I want you to think about is, what are some pros and some cons of how we keep track of time and or how we cut up calendars? And for this one, pick a number that you think is underrated and list a few reasons why. Next, in your opinion, what are some good things and or bad things that would happen if our society someday switched from counting numbers in base 10 to counting in base six? And what are some things about the English language or another language you know that you think could be improved upon?
And in your opinion, what are a few things that could be improved about the way that education is done in schools? And that's all of the questions on this final exam, but it's not the end of the test. <laughs> because I wanted to include other subjects like animals or plants on this test, but it was harder to design questions about certain subjects without it seeming memorization based, like I was just asking you to repeat some name you'd heard, or to weave an opinion based question out of some of them, partially because they take place in the real world. Things like plants and animals and laughter and love that I want to convey through combo class are hard harder to put on paper sometimes than numbers might be. And so to make sure I included some of those things, I've made the last section of this final exam be an appreciation section where you don't have to write anything down. You need to find a way to appreciate certain things. First of all, I want you to find a way to appreciate some sort of non-human animal around you, whether it's some birds that you can hear the sounds of, or a nice animal that you can pet, like a cat. Although, if you do already have a pet, go out of your way to find an animal that you don't normally interact with. Next, I want you to appreciate some plants. And once again, try and make it plants that you don't normally interact with, like take a walk somewhere and see what types of nature you can observe. Next, I want you to appreciate that you're watching this on technology that didn't exist until relatively recently and throughout most of history, I wouldn't have had the chance to convey these thoughts to hardly any of you. And I also want you to appreciate that the fact that you're watching this right now probably means that you're not starving to death and that your life has some good things going for it. That maybe you have some degree of free time or comfort. And that's amazing compared to what a lot of people throughout history have had. So let's appreciate that too. And lastly, I want you to appreciate the people around you. And I want you to tell somebody in your life this week, whether it's with your voice or through a text or whatever, I love you. And that's my version of a grade negative one test. I'll post the answers on my Demotro channel in one week, but don't rush to watch that if you think you'll want to ponder through these questions at some point in time. Also make sure you're tuned into that Demotro channel for my weekly live streams I'm doing this month and all the other educational bonus content I'll be posting there. And on this channel, we have one more episode in grade negative one, a crazy and long finale episode that will be coming out later in March.